The discussion today is called Humanitarian Negotiations, Talking to the Other Side. Um, I'll be your chair this afternoon. Uh, my name's Nick Schifrin. Uh, I work for, I'm a correspondent for ABC News here in London, uh, and I used to be based in Afghanistan and Pakistan. Um, and uh, I've been in London for about a year and a half covering mostly the Middle East and Europe. Um, and, and I think that today's topic is for a lot of people, perhaps not everyone in this room, but for a lot of people, uh, a really provocative and almost counterintuitive point. Um, I, I think there's a notion in, in the media and just a perception of non-state armed actors or armed non-state actors. Got to get coffee. Um, perception that armed non-state actors are a threat to the civilian population. But in fact, uh, the question that we're going to ask today and, and answer is, can these armed non-state actors contribute to protecting the civilian population? Um, now, a lot of us are familiar with the fact that negotiations with a wide variety of actors, state and non-state, armed and non-armed, uh, are essential to gaining access to the populations who need humanitarian assistance. And just to step back and, and talk about some of these examples, you know, what are we talking about when we say, armed non-state actors. Some of this will be obvious to you. Some of, the, some of you may, may not know this. Um, the names are, are familiar, uh, some of them. Al-Qaeda, Taliban, Hezbollah, Boko Haram, even Hamas. And hopefully we will hear from Jerusalem about Hamas. But we're also talking about a, the broader idea of, of militants, organizations that exist outside the structures of the state uh, and who are violent. So the questions we will ask today and hopefully answer, why do you negotiate with these groups? How do you negotiate? with these groups, do they respect humanitarian workers? Do they respect humanitarian law? And can engagement with these groups uh, improve the understanding and adherence to international law and what we really are all after, can they help protect the civilians who we are trying to reach to provide humanitarian aid? Um, so this is the launch. This event is the launch of the 58th issue of the Humanitarian Exchange on Humanitarian Negotiations. Uh, there'll be a next one on October the 2nd, so put it in your diaries. Um, and please turn off your phones, but I uh, encourage you all to tweet, uh, and so I won't get offended if your phones are out, but I will get offended if you're texting friends. So please tweet with the hashtag humnegotiations, H-U-M, negotiations. Um, and so, without further ado, let me introduce our esteemed panel. Uh, up there, or I guess I should say behind me, um, from Nairobi, uh, is Jerry Mahew. Uh, Jerry Mahew is the founder and president of Conflict Dynamics International. He was the lead developer of their humanitarian negotiation training initiative. He's worked on many peace processes, mediation and negotiation initiatives, most recently uh, to support the UN African Union-led mediation efforts under the Darfur political process from 2007 to 2008. So welcome, Jerry. Uh, sitting to my right uh, is Pascal Bongard. He's the head of operations at Geneva Call. And he has published widely on the issues related to humanitarian engagement with armed non-state actors. And before joining Geneva Call, uh, Pascal worked with the Swiss Federal Department of Foreign Affairs in Bern and UNHCR in Ethiopia. So welcome, Pascal. Uh, also on. The screen, oh, look at that, we've got Tony now. Well, I should introduce Tony. Tony, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you all right. You Fan can hear me? Fantastic, yes, we can hear you. Uh, Tony Ghali, um, who is joining us from Jerusalem, is the former access analyst uh, for OCHA Access Coordination Unit in the occupied Palestinian territories. He was responsible uh, for facilitating access for humanitarian staff uh, and goods to, from, and within Gaza and the West Bank. Uh, prior to that, Tony worked with several international and local organizations on issues related to civil military coordination and humanitarian negotiations with both state and non-state actors. Uh, and Tony is currently an in independent consultant working with UNDP and professionals in, professionals in humanitarian assistance and protection. Welcome, Tony, from Jerusalem. And last but certainly not least, Ashley Jackson. Ashley, wave to the crowd. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Ashley. Uh, Ashley is a research fellow right here at the Humanitarian Policy Group. Uh, she leads the research project on humanitarian negotiations with armed non-state actors. And prior to joining ODI, she spent several years in Afghanistan uh, working in UNAMA, the UN uh, office there, and the, their Department of Political Affairs, and she was the head of policy 
for Oxfam there. So welcome, Ashley. And what I'm going to try and do is um, ask these smart people a bunch of questions for the next hour or so, or 45 minutes. We'll get to about 2 o'clock or so, uh, and so we'll have 30 minutes uh, of your questions, uh, and the questions can then continue out in the hall after that. Um, so please uh, write down your questions, save them. Uh, we'll try and get to them uh, about 2 o'clock. And if I'm running over, someone just raise their hand and tell me I'm running over. 